Yes, folks, once again, it's time for General Store. With those two wonderful, wacky storekeepers in Broken Tooth, Measley County, Bill Thal as Willie, and Bob Shreve as Elmer Diffeldorfer. Tonight, we know that we have a good many new friends who have never visited Willie and Elmer. Willie and Elmer are the proprietors of the little old-fashioned general store located on Main Street in Broken Tooth. Now, Broken Tooth is a quiet, peaceful little town located just 17 miles east, or is it west, of Pig's Head Holler, Measley County, USA. And now for our new friends, as well as our old standbys, this is an invitation to forget your worries and troubles and spend a happy half hour with William and Elmer and all of their wonderful friends down in Broken Tooth. As we join them now, we find Willie alone, cleaning in the store, waiting for Elmer to return from school. Red River Valley, it's the Red River Valley for me. That's a what I'm saying. Well, it's all cleaned up. But that boy, every time it comes time for me to clean up the store, he ain't never around. If I lay my hands on that elm, that's all I got to say. Sure, he ain't wearing his hat. Suppose he's got his Cub Scout hat on or something. Well, yeah, I'll tell you all I'll do is just tell him when he gets here. I'll call. No, hurry. Yeah, get me Amos Woot, please. Down to the depot, yes. Yeah. All right. Fine. That's good. Well, I'm just looking for Elmer. You ain't seen him, have you? Hmm. Well, get me Amos down there at the depot. Let me talk to him. Yeah. Red River Valley. Yes, the play. Hello, Amos. Yeah, Willie at the store. Say, uh, have you seen that boy of mine, Elmer? He ain't seen him. Ain't he been there all day? Well, he ain't been to uh, He ain't been home from school. Well, sure, I know what time it gets out, but he ain't, I ain't seen hardly nor hair of him. Well, I just want you to, if you see him, tell him they get down here to the store as quick as he can. Why, sure, I got everything cleaned up, but don't tell him. I just want to get him down here so that he knows something about responsibility, that's all. Sure. How's Mrs. Whoop? That's good. All the little whoops? That's fine. Well, all right. If you see Elmer, just tell him to get himself down here right quick, like, will you? By Jacks, I'm telling you, it's just awful at that thing. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much, Amos. Goodbye. I just sat here and just don't do nothing. Well, no. I... Don't you think I worry about you a little bit? Well, yeah, well. Don't I... you think that I have to see to it that everything that's good happens to you? I don't know where you are, boy. Well, I just... I don't know what you're doing. Well, I... Yeah, I can just see you going down to the river or something. 
or going out to Eli Boggs's pond out there and just a second. <laughs> And yeah, maybe I... falling in that there river and getting grounded or something. I don't know. These things are going right through my head all the time when you ain't here. Yeah, when I don't know what you're doing. Then I can see you going down to Amos Whoop down at the depot to see the well, train come in. I didn't. Sure, and then that train is coming down at just 75 miles an hour. Maybe 80 miles an hour. I can see all that when I'm sitting here and you ain't here and you don't let me know where you are. Well, I just went down the Cub Scout meeting. I know, but did you let me know? No, you didn't say nothing to me. And I can just see you down there at that there station. I and that's all going through my head when I'm standing here wondering what happened to you. Just a-wondering and just a-hoping that everything's all right. And that train's coming down there 75 miles an hour, and you go out on the track to see that train come in, uh, and then, then and I look down there, and that their engineer, he just raises his hand, and he pulls down on that thing like this. Ow! Heavens, too bad. I think he got me again. I think he got me. train did come in. Oh, heavens, too bad. Uh, help me up over the track, somebody. Oh, Don't just let me get up, Elmer. Get up. Oh, uh, uh, I think I'm a goner, and I'm too young to go. Now, what are you talking like that for? It just so happened that the train come in when I raised my hand. Uh. You're always putting on that there act like you're hurt, and they. But that's the truth. I worry about you, Elmer. I don't want you to do things like that without telling yeah, me. Yeah, you don't have to worry about me, Willie. I know. Well, I do. I can't help it. You're in my charge, ain't you? Yeah. Well, what do you say? Uh -huh. What do you say? Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, all right. <laughs> Let's play some checkers. Let's you know, Jim, you know... I don't know. Sometimes you just worry me to death. You just... Long time since we played some checkers. Willie, um, your move. I'll take the black one this time. You take the red one. No cheating. Hmm? No cheating. Well, no. Uh, uh, that is, um... No, we'll play, um... We'll play Wisconsin Rules. Wisconsin Rules? Yeah. You mean just the way you always play checkers, Wisconsin... What does Wisconsin Rules mean anyhow, Elmer? Uh, it means uh, keep your eye on the checkerboard all the time. Don't take your eyes off. Not much. And if you move one, don't take your finger off. That means you can move back, Ted. All right. You're moving. I'm going to be a watching you, too. Yeah, well, sure so. I am. Sure. Right there. You know, a bunch of us Cub Scouts over there sat here at the meeting while they was talking about uh, getting together and having some sort of a... Uh, some sort of a... Um... Yeah. Don't start that stuff, Elmer. I ain't a looking no place. You think you're going to get me to take my eyeballs off of this here checkerboard? <laughs> I'm on to your way of playing. Yeah, well, sure you are, sure, sure you are. I am. <whistles> How do you know? Didn't huh? take my finger off. Go on, put her back there. Put her back there. See if I... <laughs> right in there, I got you. Could have swore I heard something there behind you. What was you saying about the Cubs, guys? He said he was going to get together and have some sort of little, uh... I jumped you. Yeah, I know, but you can't do that, because I didn't take my finger off of there, too. You had your finger off. Now, don't start that business. Go on, play checkers. You want to play checkers, Wisconsin rules, I'll give you checkers, Wisconsin rules. Oh, yeah! No. Huh? No. Yeah! <laughs> Go ahead. How'd you get in here? I moved over. Moved right there. Hmm. Boy, you just think that you're too smart for me in this here check. <laughs> yeah, they're warning for you, too. What was you saying about Cub Scouts? I was saying we we're going to get together and raise some uh, money over there at the uh, school. On account of we have to buy some new uniforms for some of them new kids uh, coming in over there. Yeah? Should I hear behind me? Yeah, you didn't hear nothing behind me. Uh-oh. 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 Hurry up and move there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just don't have no cheating on me. All right. Hello, General Store. Now, this is Elmer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just a minute. I ain't taking my eyeballs off of this here checkerboard since we started, Elmer. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's supposed to be supposed to be for uh, eyeballs glued right on. 
You think this here Wisconsin rule is going to catch me and trip me up? You just got another gas coming. Ain't going to do nothing but kind. Yeah, yeah. I see. Did I hear that telephone ring? What's that? Didn't I hear the telephone ring? Uh, yeah, yep. Who was it? Uh, Emma Swoop, Uncle Depot. What do you want? He didn't want to talk to you. He wanted to talk to me? Yeah. Well, why didn't you, and you leave that receiver right off the hook and don't say nothing to me, Elmer? Why don't you tell me them things? Here I'm a sitting there just playing checkers and not knowing about the telephone. Why don't you say something to me? You're crowding me. Oh, I'll crowd you in a minute. I don't know what I'm going to... Elmer, wait, 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 wait. Pick yeah, on me every time. Well, I'm sorry you had to wait. He Elmer just sat down there. He just sat there and didn't say nothing to me. Yeah. Oh, you got it come in, did it? Oh. How big is it? Oh. About that big? Yeah. Yeah, it's got markings on it, huh? Yeah. Where'd it come from? Oh, from Pittsburgh. Oh. That must be it, all right. That's the one I ordered. What's your one? Yeah. Well, are you going to be around this way pretty soon? Who is it? Amos Wu. What does he want? Just tell me, a, just a second, Amos. The package come in that I ordered. Yeah. And it's there. I guess you've got the mail, too. Hello, Amos. He says hello. Hi, uh, Amos. How's everything down the depot? I, I was trying to get down there. Now, will I, you hush up? I've got this thing here in my hand. You can't hear what he's saying back to you. Just keep quiet now, like it. Hey, Amos, when you get around this way, Listen, you if you get around this way, just just drop it off and yeah, of course I'm waiting for it. Yeah. Cause you ain't, you ain't uh, no uh, Well, I, I want to get it as soon as I can so I can try it out. You see, so that so that we all know how to say. You got another thing coming, yes. You sure have, Amos. You got another thing coming. I was talking. Yeah. Well, all right, Amos. Any time at all is all right with me. Oh, all right with me too. Sure is. Thank Meet you very much for letting me know it's going in. Yeah. Meet you Goodbye. Yeah. Yes, sir, Amos. Goodbye. What are you talking about, son? You're just talking and that man can't hear a word you're saying. For goodness sakes, I don't know what's come over here. You just talk and talk and talk. Yeah, but you, uh, you was talking to him something about a package, and uh, I'm just trying to find out what was. The package? Yeah. It's a surprise. Yeah. You know, there's been a lot of things, strange things going on here in Broken Tooth lately, don't you? I mean, what do you mean, Molly? Yeah, just been a lot of strange things going around. Yeah, but I mean, what do you mean when I'm... Stuff being took? Stuff being took? Sure, stuff's being took. Do you mean... Yes, I do. Stuff's hmm. being took. That's just what I mean. That people don't know nothing about. They're, they're, they're just missing them places. You mean we got the... Uh... We got, uh, uh, some of them, uh, uh, we got some of them, uh, robbers, kids? Well, it's sort of like that. Why, just the other day, there was a kid took from Smelly Fuel's goat farm. Just took, and they didn't know where it went. Didn't see nobody come in there and take it. Just took it. Somebody took a little kid. Yeah. Heavens, two Betsy. That sort of reminds me, too, something over, happened over there in Pig's Head Holler, too. Uh, there was a kid took over there. This thing I got. Some there. little kid. Well, then, he must have been two or three years old. Them fellas took that little kid and they held him, did. And they held him and they held him for no. two or three days. No, Elmer. So, they got this letter from this uh, kid neighbor. And this kid neighbor said... This kid neighbor? Yeah. He says, you gotta uh, send us $25. No, kid. no, Elmer. You know, I wouldn't want this to get around. But they only had to pay $20. She said they'd send him back for less than that just to get the kid back home. Of course now. <laughs> he was a mean. Oh, he was mean. It ain't got nothing to do with what I'm telling you about Smelly Fuel's goat farm. This kid is a little bitty baby goat. That's just what I'm trying to tell you. They just, they took it, see? They took it from, from Smelly's farm. A baby goat's called a kid. Ain't got nothing to well, do with it. Well, then that wasn't kid neighbor. That was goat neighbor. Yeah. Goat. Well, of course he got laws about... Goat neighbor, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, sometimes. In the laws, it says you can't sometimes take no. any goats without asking their parents first. It says you ain't supposed to take one goat. Otherwise, they're known as a goat neighbor. Let's play checkers. Yeah, I got three kings here. Now, wait a minute, Elmer. How did you get three kings down here? You're not supposed... You didn't... I'll tell you one thing, it wasn't easy. 
Uh, you remember you was talking to Smelly Pew? Uh, you know, sometimes I could dog just dog. whomp you. I could whomp you for, you know what they call that? Yeah. Cheating. Just plain, common, old, common, everyday cheating is what that You mean that's cheating? Yes, sir. I don't have another man to even king you with right now there. I'll give you one. Right there. If that's cheating, you ain't cheating, ain't you? Yes. Hey, you ain't getting started with it. Heavens, too bad you all my black ones is down on that end. Yeah, you sure get down there fast, don't you? What were you saying about the Cub Scouts going to do something? Well, I started to tell you before we was interrupted there by the telephone. Cub Scouts have been trying to get together and make a little extra money. Mm -hmm. So we've been trying to figure out something that we could do. Something we could sort of, I'll start moving back here from the Kings. Yeah, you'll be all over this thing before I can get anything down there at all. You know that, don't you? Something we could, uh... Amos. Start, uh... Oh, I don't know. It might be some sort of a... Hello, Amos. Bingo game. Yeah, got it with you? I play bingo. Yeah. Hello, Amos. Well, uh, yeah, we'll take it out of the truck. And, yeah. I had to tell you on the telephone I couldn't get down there today. Right. I had yeah. to go to Cub Scout meeting. Huh? Yeah. Well, it ain't that heavy, is it? No, sure it ain't. Can't be. No, it ain't that heavy. <laughs> send my boy out. Yeah. <laughs> That's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you out to get it. Now, go on and get it. He's coming right out, Amos. Hey, just a minute. Yeah, yeah he'll be right out. Go on and get it. You sort of forget who you're talking to, then, Jim. Yeah. No, I ain't forget. You're supposed to. You're supposed to go out there and get the package like you're supposed to do. Now go on and get it. Yeah. I'll toss it for you. All right. Right there. All right. Heads I go, tails. Heads you go, tails you. Uh, tails, tails I don't. You go. Yeah. All right. What is it? Uh, head. Wrong. Two out of three. Um. What is it? Head. You go. Go on. Uh, three out of four. All right, three out of four. What is it? Uh, hit. Four out of five. Now stop that business. Now go on out there and get it. Now go on out there and get that package. I'll go when I get good and ready. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Go on and get it. It's coming right out. Man. I'll be right out, Emma. Uh, it's got tails on both sides, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody out. Go on and get the package, Elmer. Don't stand there. Yeah, Everybody's all right there, I suppose. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. Well, say hello to Mrs. Wolf for me. You shut up. I'm talking to Emma. Uh, Emma, you started to tell me I was going to drop down to a depot there today. Talked to you and said a spell that uh, couldn't make it. Had to come to me. Come to me. Never heard of me in my life. Yeah, well, say, come back soon when you get around, Amos. That man, you can talk right to his face. He never hears a word you say. Get in the store. Get in the store and let's get I'm this. getting fed up with you, Amos. So long. <laughs> thank you very much. I said thank you very much. <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell that you, he's a nice fella, that Amos. That man's the deepest man I ever hear in life. Well, he can't hear too good. I say it's deep. I can hear you. I can hear you all right. I've not heard talk to him for 1,500 uh, days. He never would know what's going on. That's the main one. I better separate it right now. Yeah. Well, who's for? Letter for Ollie Boggs. Mm-hmm. One for Reverend Ogginball. Yeah, well, I can take that or I'm going over there tonight. Keep them long. Don't lose it now. Yeah. Way over. One for Smelly Fuel. Yeah, I can't stand about that goat farm, Willie. I can take it out there, but I ain't, uh... Here's a couple of postcards. One for Mil Milford Little Wart and Al and for Amy Fiddlestitch. <laughs> well, I'll uh, put them let's right over. Read them. Huh? Let's read them, see what it says. No, we, we ain't supposed to read them postal cards. I know, but you're the postmaster, ain't you? And you got your hat on, too. So read them. It's what the government says you can do if you got your hat on. Oh, well, you're a little mixed up, ain't you? You're supposed to just peek at them. Yeah. This one's for Milford. Yes. Uh, dear Mr. Littlewart, we are very sorry to inform you that your recent request for another catalog has been turned down. Hmm. In checking our files, it has been brought to my attention that we have already sent you four 1951 catalogs. Yeah, that's too bad. However, we will still keep you on our mailing list for our 1952 issue. 
Rear's Sawbuck and Company. Oh, heavens to Betsy and poor 1951 catalog. I've seen a man every other week. We get a catalog in her. I ain't never seen nothing like that myself. What's he doing with all them cat? I ain't there. I've been over to over to Milford's place. I ain't never seen a catalog in his house. I'm sure it ain't in the house I ain't yet. Emmy Fiddlesticks. This one's for Emmy. Should I read this one? Yeah. I hate to do it. Eh. <laughs> uh, dear Miss Fiddlesticks. Yeah. Your letter and order of the twelfth inst. For a girl is noted. Thank you very much for your order for the girdle, and we wish to inform you that the order has been forwarded to our tent and awning department for further consideration. Thank you. One-way stretch girdle and awning company. <laughs> well, she, I never knew that she was ordering She's big enough, you know. Yes, yeah, she is. You know, if Emmy ever Get found out, and, uh, if Emmy ever found out that we opened, uh, read one of her uh, her postal cards, she'd just... One bus from one end of Main Street to the other. Get the, get the scissors and let's open up. Now, just a second. I'll get it. Just don't. It says right there that you got to be careful of it. Let's see. Hurry up. Let's open it up and see what it is. All right. Damn, pardon me, wait. This and thing will stop all of that stuff I was telling you about. Yeah, well, is it something to wear, will it? No, you can't wear it at all. Yeah, well, hurry up. No, no, no. Just stay there. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to make sure know what's in there. This thing is going to stop what I was telling you about. I was telling you about all them... This thing is going to stop all the robberies, too, and uh, broke too. And uh, there ain't going to be nothing else going on around here like that, is it? Well, yeah, but you don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> surprise! 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 Right there. Well, that? that sure is pretty, too. You know what that is? Yeah. That's a burglar alarm. What? A burglar alarm? Every time, every time a burglar comes into any place at all, just walks in the store or in the house, that thing rings. Yeah. That's all. That's that, that thing is, is, is guaranteed, too. If it don't work, you get your money back. I know. Believe anything like that can. Now look, I read that their that, that their folder they sent us, and that thing that thing works. I know it. I still don't believe it. You want to try still it? Still don't believe it. Something like that can just uh, tell when the burglar's coming in. Try it out. Go on, go outside and come in and act like you're a burglar now. Go on, I'll get your handkerchief, put it right around your face like you're one of them there burglars. Put it right around your face right now. You mean if I just come in and act like I'm a burglar, that thing's gonna. Uh, start uh, shooting at me. That's what it's supposed to do. As soon as you come in the store, that thing is supposed to go off and it stop. Put that around your face like a burglar. Go on, tie it up. Yeah, well, I don't want to be a, a burglar. I just... Well, you're going to try it out. Now, go on. Now, you come in the store. Yeah. Put it right out there. Now, now, you, now you, you come in the store and then just go up to that thing and just say something like you're a burglar. Yeah, well, I know what. Now stand out there and then come back in. Now, do, do like I tell you, will you? Do just like I tell you. All right, come on. Get out there and come in when I tell you to come in now. All right, come on, Emily. Yeah. Well, talk to it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Stick him up. Uh, stick him up. Yeah, I told you, it don't work, ain't nothing to it. it. The thing ain't worth nothing. You can't just tell me that somebody's gonna come in and say, stick them up and that thing's gonna start. Now go outside, come back in and steal something. See if it does it there. Steal something? Steal something. See if it won't work now. That pamphlet says, come on! No, it ain't working, Emma. It uh -uh. ain't working at all. Uh-uh. And that there thing, when I wrote to that man, he says that thing will, will work. It works perfect. I'd send the thing back. 
Just what I'd do. Just what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend it back. Ain't no sense. Why, I spend that kind of money for that kind of a, a thing and then not have it work, I won't have no part of it at all. Oh, yeah, me too. Goodness sake, let me get some of that there rope and tie the thing up and send it right back. That's just what we'll do. Ain't going to pay out your good money for no, something. No, sir, we ain't going to pay out any work. good money and not have that thing work at all. We'll show them what we want. Silly, now there, we'll send it right back. Send it right back What but still, that? it didn't when I, uh, when I took something off the shelf for her, she didn't uh, ring. Yeah, I'm sending it back in. Send it back. I would, too. Well, I'd well, send it right back. It. I wouldn't have nothing to do with it. Send it back. Don't you want your money back? Yeah. Guess what I'm going to do. Hang on. Accidentally went off. You can't. You gotta have something you can depend on a little better than that. A man can come here in the store and, and, and see if everything we got too. By the time and, that thing is decided to go off, he, he could he could come in here and just empty out the whole place. Send it back. Send it right back. It's just what I'm gonna do. Send it back. <laughs> no. Send it back. Huh? Yeah, let that thing sit around here. First place, I'm supposed to have the, the thing right stand in the store in the first place. Ain't no sense in having something like that around hey, here. Man, you can't. Spend that much money for something and then not have to work on time when I come in here and I That's should just pick exactly up the way I, I feel about it. Shelf. You took something off the shelf. <laughs> care of it for good, too. <laughs> <laughs> Any quiet and peaceful day in the general store can turn into a near riot if Willie and Elmer are around. Join us again tomorrow at 6.45 when Bill Fall is Willie and Bob Shreve as Elmer Disseldorfer will be back in their general store. So until tomorrow, this is your announcer Bill Nemo bidding you good night from Broken Tooth. This is WLW Television, a service of the Crosley Broadcasting Corporation, a subsidiary of the Avco Manufacturing Corporation.